Uh, I want to thank everybody for being here today. I'm just going to run a couple of ones as I run. So I'm sure that you're cleared out of there. Those are the ones that are going to be there. Those are the ones that are uh, so, uh, to uh, promote assistant chief, uh, we have some dignitaries here with us. Matt Damanalo, the deputy mayor, is with us. The majority leader, Keith Gordon, is with us. Chief De Janeiro, in the back room, working back in the row. So, Russ is boss right now. Uh, chief Ferg is here. And, uh, chief Finnegan. Do uh, we have any other dignitary people? Me. Oh, and Chris. <laughs> 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 and the deputy chief, deputy chief bonus here. There you go, Dave. There he is. He's standing out in the hallway. Uh, these are always these. You know, we, these are semi-formal things that we do. We like to have a little bit of fun, poke a little fun at people. But uh, it's really important. It's really important that we do these these promotion ceremonies. I always felt it was good for, especially when the kids are here, when sons and daughters are here, to see their, to see their dads or their moms get promoted. It certainly gives them uh, some incentive to, to see that their folks are moving up in, in, their, in their professions, and it gives them, uh, gives them a little bit of, uh, gives them a little bit of uh, experience to, uh, to, to see what's going on. So, uh, we have the uh, Cor assistant corporation council, Deb. Is that right? Yep. The city attorney, the city attorney. I didn't make one for her. And uh, <laughs> uh, we had people lining up to uh, to swear Russ in, and he's sweating like crazy here. So <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I won't be too long with it. But we had people lined up. I'm really disappointed. Mike Quinn is really disappointed that he's not here, but I guess he had a he had a trip that he planned. Yeah. So he made all the arrangements to make sure we had somebody else. And uh, and our city clerk, our city uh, clerk, are usually. Uh, oh. Irene Massey is, is away for the weekend too. So, Debbie, if you'd like to step up and you can get things going, you have the official paperwork. Uh, she's, 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 she's better than Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> right here, Deb. And if you can get Russ up there, here we'll hold your hat for you. Our last engine one. Yes. Yeah. No, Oh, no, here. Well, the people are pictures and stuff. See that lady? See that? Going to take off. That's my one. That's my one. I want to take off. Can you raise your right hand? I, Russell Donovan. I, Russell Donovan. You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. That I will support the constitutions of the United States. That I will support the constitution of the United States. And the constitution of the state of Connecticut. And the constitution of the state of Connecticut. The laws and ordinances of the city of Meredith. The laws and ordinances of the city of Meredith. And obey the rules and regulations of the Meredith Fire Department. Obey the rules and regulations of the Meredith Fire Department. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the assistant chief for the city of Meredith. Of the assistant chief for the city of Meredith. Obeying the commands and directions of my superiors. Obeying the commands and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability, so help me God. To the best of my ability, so help me God. Congratulations. Chief, you become a chief, you uh, get a white helmet. And I believe there's somebody out here that has a white helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He was in uniform, too. Yeah, this is my son, Kevin. Would you like to uh, say something on behalf of the city? 
Congratulations. Thank That's you awesome. very much. And I know you realize you were the best prep partner in the state of Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. Man. As we discussed, congratulations. Welcome to the Chiefhood. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we've worked good together all along. I don't expect anything different. We have a great relationship. Uh, other, uh, other celebration tonight is uh, this past Monday was uh, the Chiefs' uh, 63rd. Yes. Uh, this this guy uh, We'll have a little cake for him. <laughs> you know, as, he, as he mentioned that, you know, I'm a majority leader, as some people would call that, because I'm leaving my office in December, you know, some people will call me the lame duck. You understand how that is, Chief, right? Yeah, right. You know? That's <laughs> okay. why he's got that score. You've got the yeah, yeah. So, as time goes on, uh, we, we've seen a lot of people come and go, and uh, I, I welcome you in the Assistant Chief's position. Uh, the candidates were all great. Scoring was what it is, and uh, I'm glad to see you there. And we understand you're still going to be servicing my air bottles. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you have a long speech? No, not at all. Okay. Just like the fire chief song? Uh, I didn't get that. Louis didn't teach training. you the fire chief song? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank my family and friends for being here. Uh, it means a lot to me uh, to have all of you here all my brothers and sister firefighters, it means a tremendous amount to me. Um, you guys have all meant an awful lot to me. And I'm very proud to be in this position. I'm proud to be a Meriden firefighter. And I'm looking forward to working with all of you on all the shows. So thank you very much.